Good morning, York. I'm Thomas Maroney. And I'm Stephen Doyle. And these are the morning announcements. York TV, as you can clearly see, is back and better than ever from this March break and long weekend, and we hope that you guys have had a good break and weekend, too. You haven't noticed? We have new mugs. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Mine doesn't say host, but that's okay. Well, we all hope that here at York TV, we all hope that you had a fantastic March break and also long weekend. And now you guys are ready to move forward to the last stretch of the school year from 2012 to 2013. Woo, we're almost done. We are special. Yes, we are. Now we're going to go straight to the people who aren't quite almost as done as us. That is the middle school to have the middle school minute with Ariel and Miss Faith. Um... So there's, there's a number of items as far as middle school news goes. This Friday is the deadline to sign up for the middle school babysitting course uh, that will be run by the Red Cross at the York School. Go ahead and register. Um, the information was sent to you by email. Piece of middle school news, we are getting, we already have our brand new LCD screen, which is very exciting. So we'll have our own little middle school loop of news. We'll also be using it for a few other things, uh, which are kind of coming down the pipe which is very exciting. Oh. Middle school play, very exciting. Uh, April 30th and May 1st. So that's coming up and everyone's working really hard on that right now. The grade sixes and sevens are gonna be voting for their new grade eight house captains for next year. So that's coming up in the next couple weeks, so keep an eye out for that. The Grade 8 initiative for Right to Play is going to be wrapping up this week, and there have been lots of different fundraising kinds of events happening this week, uh, Sundays and candy grams and um, popcorn and things like that have been sold, and they've already raised a lot of money, and uh, congratulations to the Grade 8s. And that's it. So yay, middle school. Wow. There's a lot to look forward to here at, the, in the, here at the York School, especially in the middle school over the next couple of months. And now here's Mr. Mitchell to talk to us about what's going to be happening this week at the upper school. Good morning, York. I'm here with the Director of Student Life, Mr. Mitchell. And we're going to be talking today about the election process that's going to be happening relatively soon. So, Mr. Mitchell, for the uh, voters that are going to be having to make the choice for our next prefects next year, what do you think is the best possible way for them to get to know these prefects? Thomas, good question. Uh, there's a few different ways that the voters out there, the students and the faculty, can get to know the candidates. Number one, they can go to their blogs. And each candidate has set up a blog where it ha might have some posters or a video message, but also some attributes and skills and their desires or mission that they will bring to the position. Okay. Another way you can do it is check out one of the designated poster areas, one on each floor, where the candidates will be setting up using recycled materials. <laughs> A, a creative poster that also represents their mission and what they're running for. Um, another great way to get to know the candidates is to uh, come to the lunchtime leadership forums, which are public, and it's a chance for the uh, public to listen to uh, what the candidates have to say and, uh, and also have a chance to ask them some questions. All right, sweet. Now the next couple of months here at the York School are sure going to be busy. And that includes this week, so let's start right off with some general announcements. Considering that uh, the hosts Myself, Stephen, and I guess Nick, are in grade 12, we will sadly not be coming back to the York School next year. Meaning that two more hosts need to sign up and will be actually the next hosts for next year. So if you're interested in this, please email Megan Waitzer. It's going to be great guys, it's a heck of a lot of fun. In other news, Ontario Modern Parliament will be happening this week and a number of York School students will be heading down to Queen's Park to participate in the political process. So we wish all of those students, including Stephen Dodge, great luck. <laughs> the Great Nines will be having a lunch out this Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday on April 10th. And finally, elections for the new prefects for next year will be happening very soon, so stay tuned to that. It's pretty cool. We actually get a red tie here for you. Yeah, mentors get yellow. The always powerful Pink Day Assembly is going to be on Wednesday, and so there's going to be a nice pink casual Wednesday for us all. So I guess we should uh, work pink on that day to support. Mm -hmm. But either way guys, that's it for us today and this has been York TV and as always York, I'm Thomas Maroney and I'm Stephen Dodge. Take care.